Wrocław, Poland is an extremely charming city and it's been called the Polish Venice because it has 130 bridges that connect 12 islands. I also made videos about the best places to eat in Wrocław, where I stayed and the incredible Christmas market there. So I'll link those videos as well if you're interested. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Wrocław is bursting with art and culture and in 2016 it was even named the European Capital of Culture. You cannot miss the market square in the center of the town which dates back to the 13th century. I was actually lucky enough to stay right on the square with an incredible view and the square is lined with seriously photogenic pastel colored buildings including a pair of cute houses known as Hansel and Gretel that are joined together by an archway. And it's easy to see when you're walking around that this city really embraces art and my first clue was actually seeing all of these tiny little gnome sculptures around the city. Nobody seems to know the exact number anymore but there are over 400 of these cheeky little dwarves all over the city. They're all under a foot tall and they have an interesting history. The dwarves were the symbol of the Orange Alternative which was an anti-Soviet movement that started in Wrocław and it helped to bring down Poland's communist regime. Among other things the group protested against the regime by defacing communist propaganda with images of dwarves and the idea was to show how absurd it all was and to just encourage people not to be afraid. And now the dwarves are all over as sculptures or other art like graffiti. You see them everywhere and they represent different parts of Wrocław's history and the daily life there. Wrocław really is full of public art including what was for me a really memorable sculpture and the Polish name translates to passage or transition and it was installed in 2005 in Wrocław because that's a city of transitions. And it's a sculpture that shows seven human figures descending into the ground on one side of the street and then seven figures emerging on the other side rising out from the ground and standing tall again. The figures represent many different walks of life. You'll see a woman with a baby carriage, there's a man with a briefcase, another woman looks like an artist or architect, a woman with an umbrella, and a man with a tire who looks like a mechanic. My favorite was an older woman with a cane. And transition represents the period of martial law in communist Poland that existed from 1981 to 1983. And the piece is said to symbolize how martial law drove people underground in fear, and also people who were arrested and disappeared. And the city citizens rising out of the sidewalk on the other side represents their re-emergence when martial law ended in 1983. There's another piece of art in Wrocław that's sort of like the crown jewel of the city's art scene and very appropriately it's stored in a rotunda that looks like a royal crown and it was actually specifically built to house this artistic treasure. You walk up a winding pathway that spirals you up and reveals this enormous 360 degree painting as you ascend the ramp. And it's a panorama that depicts a battle for Polish independence that took place on April 4th, 1794. There are staged objects in the foreground and they blend seamlessly with the painting behind it and it just makes it feel really realistic and brings the history to life in a way that I've never really experienced before. The painting is enormous, it's 15 meters high and wraps 114 meters around you. Apparently it took nine months to paint and use 750 kilos of paint. If you're in the mood for love or find yourself in Wrocław on a first date, then Tumski Bridge, also known as Lover's Bridge, is where you need to go. It's a very popular spot for couples who place a lock on the bridge to symbolize their love and then throw the key in the river. I saw a couple there who were either looking for a place to put their new lock or looking for a lock they left behind. I don't know. I also saw a giant red lock, which must represent some pretty serious loving. The bridge was decorated with hearts and twinkling lights when I saw it which was really pretty and it connects you to Cathedral Island which is the oldest part of Wrocław and it's also a lovely place to walk around. This area is also where I saw something I've never seen anywhere else in the world. A lamp lighter walking around lighting gas lanterns by hand. Lamp lighting is of course a very old and now very rare profession and I think the lamp lighter must be one of the most photographed men in Wrocław because on multiple days I saw him walking along those beautiful old streets at dusk with his cape on brightening up the dark with an actual flame. It's just beyond charming and if you're like me and you find the idea of time travel very appealing then this is a way to get a sense of traveling back in time. Near 
nearby Cathedral Island and Lover's Bridge is Wrocław's Market Hall, where you can grab some food or souvenirs from the stalls or see locals doing their shopping. And the heavy concrete arches are by far my favorite part. And to me at least, they make it feel like a sort of underground cathedral in Mad Max. Thank you so much for watching this little peek around Rotswab. I'd love for you to leave a comment and like the video if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.